When you play poker, do you find that you're always sitting with that one player that is so aggressive you don't know how to play against them? Or maybe there's multiple aggressive players at your table and you just don't know how to adjust? It's a very common problem that I see with a lot of my students and it can be really intimidating when you have someone who's always raising you or check raising you or trying to put pressure on you to fold, right? So I'm gonna teach you how to combat these aggressive players, how to adjust your strategy where you are flipping the script and putting them in the difficult spots instead of you always being the one in the difficult spot. Hey guys, I'm Lexi Gavin Mather, professional poker player and coach. And really quick, I wanna tell you a little bit about my journey in poker. So I started my career playing pretty heavily in college. I was studying to become a lawyer, but I was playing a lot of poker with my friends on the side. I was probably playing maybe three to four days a week, nothing too crazy, but enough where I was actually starting to see some money come in. I was able to afford things that I wasn't ever able to afford before. I was taking my friends to concerts and I was buying, you know, all of this party supplies. I was the one with the dough. <laughs> and it was poker that got me there so i kind of was at a crossroads i'll never forget i was doing a summer study in oxford england and i had a decision to make do i continue studying for the lsats or and go down this law route and have a desk job which there's nothing wrong with that totally respectable but i had this itch to play poker and i wanted to see how far i could take it because i was already successful and I hadn't really put in any work into my game. And I'm so glad that I went the poker route because I have experienced a level of financial stability. I got to travel the world. I played poker in so many different countries. I played all over America. I lived in Canada for a while playing online. And it was poker that got me there. I got to, I met my husband playing poker. I've met so many amazing people, had all these life experiences at such a young age, you know, in my early 20s and into my 30s that I am so glad that I went the poker route. Whether you are looking to make poker a professional career or if you're just trying to make it a profitable hobby, I do have a course called the Poker Accelerator that I really think will transform your game. It gives you a step-by-step -step roadmap of how to win in poker and how to become a crusher. So if you're interested, visit the description box below or visit LexiGavinMather.com. It's called the Poker Accelerator and I would love to have you join my family. But I know that you came here to learn how to not let these aggressive players bully you anymore. We're sick of it, we're done with it. Let me go over to my computer. I am gonna show you a snippet of my course that I have, the Poker Accelerator, where we talk about aggressive players. Let's go over to the computer. So versus loose aggressive players, and loose aggressive players are players that play a lot of hands, they put in a lot of light three bets, they'll have a polarized four betting range, and they'll bluff a lot, and they'll just try and put the pressure on you to to fold your hand. So versus aggressive players, you wanna proceed with caution and be aware of check raises and four bets. Now, aggressive players will definitely check raise hands with backdoor equity and they'll check raise a lot of their draws. So on boards that is very draw heavy, say you have a middle pair or top pair on a draw heavy board and you were the initial opener and an aggressive player called from the blinds or something, I would check back a lot of my top pairs and things like that to pot control because you are more likely to get check raise on wet connected textures, especially versus aggressive players. I would play a little bit trappier versus them. You can three bet them wider preflop because they are gonna have a wider opening range, so they are gonna have to fold their bad hands to three bets. Aggressive players also tend to not love folding, so if you are gonna three bet them wider preflop, then you should be prepared to follow up with the aggression post flop because at the end of the day we're all dealt the same two cards an aggressive player can of course put pressure on you and raise your c bets and things like that but at the end of the day they have to have something so if you fight back with aggression they're just gonna have to make a lot of folds because they're calling wide preflop so three bet them wider preflop Bluff catch more versus them. So they are gonna bluff a lot more. You can, you know, call them wider. I have widen your value call range. It's kind of the same thing. You can make some more hero calls with them with ace highs versus them. You're gonna call on boards where there's a lot of draws that brick, straight draws, flush draws, especially if you're not holding any of the straight or flush blocker. Like if you don't have straight or flush blocker, then you can call them wider. Like you can call them with some ace highs and some bottom pairs and things like that because I think that 
that aggressive loose players are gonna bluff their brick draws a lot more than like a tight player. You wanna have a balanced four bet range, so they are gonna be three betting you pretty wide pre-flop. You have to be prepared to four bet them. Doesn't have to be a premium hand. Like a good candidate four bets would be hands with blockers to their snap calls, so hands like ace nine, you know, hands that are a little too weak to flat, but have blockers, they block their three betting range, so hands like ace nine, ace 10, king nine, king eight, things like that. You don't want to let someone just relentlessly three bet you, right? Like they shouldn't be able to get away with that. And hands like ace nine, they don't play well as a flat. So that's why I like to put it into my four betting range. And then if they five bet shove or something, then you just fold, but you kind of put them in their place early and let them know that it is not okay and that you are not gonna let them get away with that. Now be willing to play for stacks more. So I think loose aggressive players, they are gonna have a four bet and five bet shoving range. You have to kind of widen up your pre-flop calling range versus them. I don't mean hands like nine, eight suited, like no, you shouldn't you shouldn't get that in pre-flop versus them, but maybe a hand like pocket eights. Like if they're loose and crazy and spastic and are willing to get it in with pocket sixes or something, then I'd say, you know, make a light call with pocket eights or something. I'm saying they open, you three bet with a hand like pocket nines or something or pocket tens. They four bet you, then you should be five bet shoving there for value sometimes especially versus aggressive players that are on the weaker side because loose aggressive players that are fishier tend to overvalue hands like pocket sevens more than they should and things like that. So now we have use larger preflop sizes. Now, I typically wouldn't suggest adjusting your preflop sizes versus good players, but versus more crazy aggressive players that are weaker. Like I said, with the more recreational players, they're not gonna pay attention to your sizing as much. So so you can kind of adjust your strategy, adjust your size because they're just gonna call you a lot more and probably not pay too much attention to that sizing. Yep, some things to keep in mind versus loose aggressive players. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something about how to not let those aggressive bullies bully you anymore at the table. We're gonna flip the script and put the pressure back on them. If you guys learned something, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe because I do do these tip videos weekly. And again, if you wanna join the Poker Accelerator, if you wanna see more of the course, that was just a little snippet. If you wanna see more, if you wanna join the family, visit the description box below or visit LexiGavinMather.com. I would love to have you on the inside. Come on and let's win more in poker. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for watching. I will see you for next week's tip. Bye.